American Vision presents Meet with the Speakers. In this political season, there's a, been a great deal of talk concerning the conservative movement and with the rise of the, the Tea Party. Uh, both political parties really have not expressed a, a great deal of understanding of conservative principles. Uh, part of the problem may be that we don't know what con these conservative principles are. And uh, for the last couple of months, I've had Dr. Gary North uh, sit down and uh, present an outline and also do a series of videos. In fact, American Vision has produced 15 uh, videos, 30 minutes in length, that deal with the history of the conservative movement. Politically, American Christians have had an echo, not a choice. American Vision presents the history of the conservative movement featuring Dr. Gary North. Dr. North presents an overall survey of the American conservative movement in this 15-part lecture series. Get your copy of this study from the first Tea Party to the contemporary Tea Parties. Available now at AmericanVision.com. Dr. North, has there really been a comprehensive study of the conservative movement that you know of? There have been a couple of studies of the intellectual figures who have shaped the thinking of conservatives. The most famous, I guess, by Nash, and it's a, it's a good presentation, but if you're talking about a combination of who were the major figures, what were the major issues, who put up the money, how did the message get out, I am unaware of a one-stop shopping location that you can get that story. Now, there's so much material out there, and there's, of course, there's a, I mean, how far back can you go when you start talking about the conservative movement, because much of the conservative movement, you go back to the, to the Greeks, uh, and uh, so a lot of, uh, you know, secular conservatism really is, is, is Greek in its, in its beginnings. Uh, so we need, we need some sort of interpretive grid in order to do this, and you've come up with, with three. Uh, follow the confession, follow the money, follow the media. What, what do you mean by those three? It is very difficult to make sense out of any historical movement, especially the origins of that movement. If you do not understand what the message of the movement was by which it gained support. Secondly, you have to know how the movement is funded especially at the beginning of the movement. And the third thing is how did the movement get its message to the broader population that eventually came to support the movement? If you ignore any of those factors, you're going to have, I think, a partial consideration of the history of that movement. Now, we talk about, uh, you know, follow the confession. Uh, that's kind of, in, in our circles, uh, being from a pres Presbyterian background, I was raised Roman Catholic, I know what a, a confession of faith is. Uh, many people don't see politics as confessional, that there is uh, at, at, at the bottom uh, fundamental religious principles, of, you know, foundational principles that give meaning to a particular belief system. Uh, what are some of the confessional elements of, of the conservative movement? The movement has always, in America, been divided between what might be called the libertarian camp and the other being the traditional moral values camp. It is still a divisive force within conservatism and it extends back certainly over 200 years. The libertarian fellows tend to be interested in economics, taxation, economic regulation, what the state is doing to shift resources from one group to another. And they usually are in favor of reducing taxes and reducing the amount of government regulation on the economy. The traditional moral values camp worries more about ethical issues. The abortion issue, of course, is the big dividing issue has been for over 30 years, but it extends to another issue today, for example, would be the marriage, official marriage, legal right. marriage of homosexuals. These are seen 
as fundamental issues within the traditional moral values camp, much less so within the libertarian side of the movement. And this is not a recent phenomenon. This goes back certainly to the time of Adam Smith. So it goes back uh, well over 200 years. And I guess we've, we've really seen that with, um, uh, you know, with, with alcohol, w with prohibition time. You had those who were pushing, uh, pushing for that type of legislation as well. So with these, these moral issues today, while they're different in many respects, there still is this division between these two groups, the libertarians and more the, the, the social issue and the, and the economic issue, conservatives. If I were to do a history of liberalism, I would do the same exact following the money, following the confession, following the media, and the division between what I would call the political activists, the people who believe that by getting enough votes out, by getting enough compromises, by getting enough deals, you can pursue an agenda versus what I would call the more traditional value uh, liberals who say, no, no, ethics are the issue. You can't just do this by political wheeling and dealing that you have to have ethics in it. And, and we saw that, the big split in that in American history was Lyndon Johnson. You had on one side, he was the greatest of all the wheeler dealers on getting legislation passed, and yet at the, by the end of his term, he had mobilized total opposition in the streets, the open opposition to everything he stood for by the sons and daughters of the liberals who had put him into office. So you have the same division within any organized movement. Now, in our next segment, what I want to do is to talk a little bit about who are some of the prominent figures within conservatism, and, uh, and then also deal with some of, their, some of the writings that, that really had an impact, and uh, also to touch on some other issues or maybe some turning points of, of, uh, of the conservative movement, and uh, also to deal with a, a number of elements of, you know, who, who were the funders? Who were the people who were involved in funding the early part of the conservative movement? So on our next segment, we're going to deal with some of those issues and others as well. The History of the Conservative Movement, featuring Dr. Gary North, from the first Tea Party to the contemporary Tea Parties. Now available at AmericanVision.com.